Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back at Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we finished up in Halloween Town pretty fast and took on Oogie Boogie. Worked out pretty well for us. And today we're going to go ahead and go back to Castle Oblivion. And I do believe Olympus Coliseum is our final world for this little block of world cards we have. So let's go check it out. Vexen is no more. Yes, his scent is gone. Axel struck him down, something I find deplorable. Agents of the organization striking each other down. Our problem is Sora. Vexen proved to be no match for him, yet he's still under Namine's control. But we cannot eliminate Sora, can we? Correct. For our superior, he is in dire need of the Hero of Light. When Light loses sight of its path, we may find use for the Dark. What we must do is obtain the darkness. Riku, of course. Just one card left. If I get through this, will I be free of the darkness? Riku, you and the darkness are damn near married, so I'm gonna guess not. So, sorry bud. Yeah, we should just have Olympus Coliseum ready, and this should not be terribly long, hopefully. Get to the boss and get done. And see what enemy cards actually hand over here. Let's check out our map here. Way over there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hope that we can just go left, left, up, left, and over there. But it looks like there's plenty of rooms for the ending grind. That's for sure. Oh, we can't go to the left because we have this door right here first. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's check out our deck real fast. Decent enough. Random ones, but okay. A whole bunch of zeros and ones right here. Ooh, actually, we actually get a high potion in here. Nice. Reverses the values of cards one through nine. That could actually be really good for for this little block right here, because that's all ones right there, and that means they would all turn into nines. So, since it lasts for one reload, I guess what you could do is pay attention to when the ones are coming up or like the uh i thought i saw a two in there yeah pay attention to when the ones are coming up oh i think i saw the seven i thought that was the two yeah pay attention to when the ones are coming up and ignore them and then at the end of the the deck switch them over to a nine preferably in dark mode or something like that and get a couple nice powerful attacks out of it Could be good. Or it could not be. Uh, stop going underground, you fuck. I'm here, you little rat bastard. I'm 
I'm not a big fan of you guys flying around everywhere just for the fact that it's kind of a pain to chase them down a little bit. But for the most part, it's not too bad. Uh, hello. Oh, I thought I saw a big dude. Yeah, I thought I saw a big dude, not one of those little bastards. Oh well. Alright, so let's go with... How many of these do we actually have? Yeah, a couple. We can probably get through, but I'm not going to worry about it. Uh... How are my map cards? Pretty close to being full. You fucker, go away. There you go. That's much better. And I don't recall what the bananas do in this version of the game. Like, in Kingdom Hearts 1, they made you drop all your money, which was a dick move. But I don't recall what they actually do here. Oh. Oh, we're back to the uh, one right there. Okay. Luckily, that actually reloaded my card in addition to... Putting me a dark most, that was generous of them. But I'd rather not do that in the first place. Okay, so let's go with. Let's go with the black fungus. Just something we can ignore to get to the boss, pretty much. So I don't think there's any really. good enemies in here to worry about. So we're just gonna ignore the vast majority of them. We can heal you for shits and giggles, because why not? Yeah, if you guys gave anything more than, like, no experience whatsoever, that'd be great. There you go. All those zeros worked out pretty well for the duel. Matter of fact, that might actually work out pretty well for the, the boss, if we have to get a duel with the boss. I mean, I'm not sure if we're actually going to or not, but... If we need to, that could work out really good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta pay attention to where those ones are, because otherwise I'll just accidentally use them when I'm trying to keep them for later usage. Okay, let's go through here, and let's go for... Strong initiative here. That way, if I actually do get into any battles, we can try to shave off their health. Which would be fantastic. Okay, we can't just go straight left, unfortunately. It looks like we have to take a roundabout path. Um, actually, you know what? Let me do this. Let me let me let me find the map for the area. That way, I know which way we can go here. Okay, so we are... Okay, I see where we are. Yeah, they're just making us take a side path here. Either to the left or the right will get us to the final room there, but they're just trying to make us take a side path. And I think it says the Conqueror's Respite is over here, so we might as well take this path right here, just to skip out on some of the other rooms. Hello, sir. How are you today? Oh, it's you guys. Unfortunately, we don't have those fat bandit cards that make us do extra damage when they are attacked from behind. But oh well. We take what we can get. Let's go with... Let's go with the day's room. Why not? This way, if we, again, get attacked, they'll be asleep, and also the second wave of enemies that comes in will also be asleep. Sleepy time is the best time. How you guys doing? Unfortunately, we don't get as anywhere near as much damage out of these. Okay, why do you insist on attacking the wrong dude? Come on. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get as anywhere near as much damage out of... 
the lasting days. But we get all sorts of them being asleep, which is great. Okay, I want you to throw out your banana so I see what it does. I don't know why it counts as breaking my zero after I finish the attack, but okay, whatever. There you go. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't know why it counts as breaking your your card after you've already finished your attack. I mean, I, I guess for Riku's purposes, it makes it so that his his dark points end up going down a little bit. But really, I don't see much of a point to it. Oh well. This room right here, this date, this day's room. Is surprisingly big. I th actually, I, I don't think it's big like uh, like lengthwise. I think it's just tall because the Olympus rooms look kind of big. And you snuck up on me, what the fuck? I didn't even see you up down there. I was actually trying to save my ones right there. In case anything spawned in, we could go for the all nines. But it looked like it, didn't, it looked like it didn't need to. I didn't need to worry about that. Okay, so we are. Oh no, they're making. Okay, never mind. They're making you go pretty much all the way to the side on this path before you get to the turnaround point. Okay. I was confused. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Mingling Worlds. See what we get. Feeding Ground. Okay, that's not bad. It's not entirely necessary at this point, but it's not bad. Thank you for the health, sir. Alright, let's go ahead with yeah, see, they're making us go around this way. I I was looking at the map, and I thought it said you go over here, like that. Yeah, any of these four, actually. I think most of these are connected. Um, but no, I didn't realize it made us go all the way over here. Oh, well. Not that it's a huge deal. It's fine, actually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got three rooms either way before you get to it. So, Or four rooms, if you count the one coming up. All right, so let's go with... Let's go with a team of darkness. It'll be good. This will be good for grinding on the way back out from the boss, at least. Actually, I, don't, I think this is a different. Oh no, I was gonna say this is a different uh, room that I was looking at, but it just started us in a different corner compared to where it normally starts us, or where where I'm used to coming in from. Because usually I'm used to coming in from the door that's on this side of the room over there, like the, I guess, like the north side-ish. But every once in a while, they'll spawn you in at a different point, depending on where you open the room at. So it just looked odd. You know, I'm going to kill one of you guys, just because we're reasonably close to the level, and... I don't know what our bonus up, bonus is going to be, but either way, it could be nice. Stop turning around. Son of a bitch. Okay, that was my fault right there. There we go. I was very confused for a moment as to why none of my zeros were getting broken right there. And then I remember that dark mode actually resets your deck. Because I was going to go ahead and toss some of those ones into a, a 
combo, but with the reverse thing, but yeah, it didn't work out. Now let's go for more HP. I think that's more useful overall than the couple extra hits or whatever it is in the dark mode. Okay, we got one. Let's make these guys move around real slow, like. I don't think this one actually extends to the battle, or if it does, it's not very noticeable. And this room right here reminds me more of the Cave of Wonders in Agrabah than it does anything to do with Olympus Colosseum, but that's just my opinion right there. I could be mistaken either way. Uh, let's see, we are... Yes, yeah, so, okay, it's yeah, right next to the boss. Let's just go ahead and make it a save room, because why not? Not that we're missing any health or anything like that, but hey, saves, they're always welcome. And I don't think we're going to have too much of a problem with Hades. You know, let me go ahead and do this here. Review decks. Let's go ahead and put a shortcut right here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and put a shortcut of those ones. That way, if we enter dark mode, we can go ahead and pop our bouncy wild card and then go for whatever that uh, all nine that yeah uh dark aura here when we get to dark mode all right five or less blue uh, let's see that works and then you we actually don't have any, very many blue cards at all. Then again, I think a lot of the blue cards are like the reward type stuff. So it makes sense that we don't have any of them. Was the arena always this small? Take that. Okay, that hurts there, dude. Come on. I wanted to attack that last for 20 minutes, come on. You were doing some weird, like, shuffling on your deck there, dude. Like, either that or you're actually just taking the time to go through your deck. I don't know. There you go. That worked out pretty good. Uh, you die. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and power wild. And... There you go, Dark Aura, and we are taking lots and lots of damage here. Kill me, please. You son of a bitch. He got me with that uh, 8 attack or whatever it was that did tons of... Or didn't do tons of damage, but it lasted for like 20 minutes. Yeah, that, that first attack that I didn't break. And also, it really helped that we didn't get to any healing type stuff, but oh well. I don't think this will be the hardest fight ever, but it seems like it might be a little bit of a challenge if we're not paying attention. Take that. There you go. You're about to do some bullshit. There you go. Break that. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and power wild. There you go. Dark aura. Let's do it. There we go. This should give me a blitz at least. Or dark break. Okay. I'll take it. I don't know why I'm still thinking of a blitz. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but not really. And I'm kind of surprised that Dark Pyroga is actually doing damage to them. I mean, granted, he is not... Granted, he's not, uh, it's not actually a fire attack, but still. There you go. Do not break my card here, please. Especially from the heal. Thank you. I need that heal. I need that heal. Okay. And he's almost done. 
Son of a bitch. There you go. Actually, wasn't that bad. I, I just got unlucky on that first fight, I think. And there we go. We get the Hades card, which I forget what it does. It'd be nice if it told you what it did on the screen right here instead of making you hunt for it in your deck. I mean, luckily with Riku's deck, it's microscopic, so it's not that big of a deal, but still. Boost the power of attack cards when low on HP. That's not bad, but I tend to not stay low on HP, so... Okay. Alright, anyways, we have finished up with Olympus Coliseum. We went through it really short, but uh, next episode, we'll head back to the Castle of Oblivion, or I think a boss fight actually waits. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.